Okay, so I'm having a problem with my 2010 Volkswagen TDI Golf um, with the CR diesel motor in it. Uh, it run, start, hard, idle very rough, and then if you tried to excel or press the gas, it basically just die out fast. I only tried to start and stop the car twice, and then decided it's probably best to go maybe research why that's happening. Um, so here we are, we're underneath the car now, and I believe it might be from an intercooler icing issue, which apparently is another one of them problems that Volkswagens have that the factory won't admit exists. I think they did make some service calls, but if your car's out of warranty, like any 2010 would be, you're st stuck up your own fucking ass to deal with it yourself. So here we are. Now I took the skid plate off the bottom of the car. There's the transmission, and there's the exhaust back of the car. So you can get, a, there's the uh, carpet. Fucking on the pan. Um, I've already loosened the hose clamps that hold the intercooler tubing from the charge pipes down to the intercooler. Um, I already kind of got a, sorry, the lighting is going to be bad here because you know, I'm out. Of course, it's snowed and I'm outside underneath the car dealing with this. Now, I'm going to try to get my screwdriver in here. Look at the water draining out of the boost tubes. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it drain for a while and see how much water we get out of here. I'll be back. Yeah, I really wish you guys missed. I did the other side, and I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it was like a lot came out. I mean, um, there's a lot in this oil, and let's try to catch some of this oil pan. It's probably need it. Probably about a quarter inch deep, the whole thing full of it. There it is, look at that. It's all filtering down. I'm gonna try to, it's got these really strange clips on the actual hose ends to the intercooler. I'm gonna take a minute and see if I can figure out how to get those off. And hopefully it's a warm enough day out here for all the ice to melt so that this can completely clear. This is a nice, combination of uh you know blow by oil and water accumulation in these hoses so and hopefully i can see how they're gonna have a lot of hydrolocking issues coming through here in these cars all right i'll be back all right so uh here's how these clips work if you're you're looking at your car from the bottom you'll see your boost tube like this just get your inner screwdriver in there pry out on each side and then it's got a little plastic thing it'll slide forward and kind of latch into that clip there and then you can just pull it off I didn't really get much more water out of the intercooler that way but I think I'm just gonna pull them off and leave them off for the rest of the day um, and try to let it drain out let me go do the other side and see if any comes out and then I'll do like a final report here Okay, there's the car up on jacks. I'm just going to let that air out for the rest of the day. And now, uh, here we are back in the shop. I just want to, for shits and giggles, see exactly how much water came out of these intercooler pipes. And this will be a light estimate because I spilled a lot of it you know, on myself and the ground. Let me try to find a measurement picture here. Sorry for the jerk. Look at that piss coming out of here. Alright. We're at We are at 12 ounces and that is just under a half quart. That's a lot of water to have in your intake system. 
It's a lot of water to have anywhere in an engine that isn't the radiator. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna, a beautiful snowy day here in New Jersey, of course, to be doing this. Um, I'm gonna let that air out the rest of the day. The sun's coming out pretty good. Everything's melting real fast here. So hopefully, if there is any ice up anywhere, high in the intercooler, or maybe in the fins of the intercooler, blocking it it'll give it the rest of the day to melt out and drain out on its own accord I'll put it I'll put it back together before the sun goes down around dinner time probably do an oil change too while I got it up on the jack stand since I ordered all that from German Auto Parts last week but yeah so if you're having the same issue I'm having I'm assuming it's probably uh, gonna be this intercooler icing issue uh, so, good luck figuring it out. <laughs>